Grace, how does it feel knowing Oxford fans call you the GOAT? Yeah, it's a nice feeling to be fair. Um, yeah, I do enjoy it. Hi, I'm James Henry and this is Five from Fans. Ollie, who controls the music in the dressing room? Um, so, Johnny Kitman does it before we all get in, uh, and then when Cam gets there, he does it for game days. What do you think of his tunes? Um, mixed bag, some are good, some are terrible. Rachel, what is it that makes the on field relationship with you and Matty Taylor so prolific? Oh, I'm not sure. It sort of just happened. Um, you know, I think you just, we just understand each other's games quite well. Um, especially, you know, about 18 months ago when we went on a, a mental run of like 10 assists in, in one season and 10 goals from that. Um, so yeah, it just sort of clicked. Um, don't necessarily work on it, it's just one of those things that just naturally happened. Do you think there's an element of trust? Just knowing where he's going to be and him Yeah, there. I think so. I think Matty tends to like the early ball into the box, um, which is why quite a few of them were either balls over the top or the one that gets cut back and then whipped in early. Um, and he's always on the, the shoulder of defenders and um, nine times out of ten if he gets a chance he'll, he'll put it away. Leicester Yellow, what made you decide to join Oxford and did you expect to score as many goals as you have? Oxford were very interested um, when my contract was up at, at Wolves. Um, and obviously the club have been doing brilliantly for a couple of seasons, getting promoted and then having a very good first season in League One. So um, it was um, it was sort of the perfect fit. And also I wanted to be closer to home. Um, I just got married and you know I was planning a planning a family. So it was um, it was time to be a bit closer to home for a change. And you know Oxford just seemed the perfect fit at the at the right time. And with the goals, obviously I, I knew I could score goals, but um, to score as many as I have, probably, probably not, but you know, long may that continue. Ryan, what's your go-to meal? Big spag bob man, big spag bob man me. Loads of cheese, loads of cheese, has to be done. Stuart, where does scoring the winner three minutes into injury time at Hillsborough rank in your career highlights? Um, yeah, quite high. Um, yeah, it was a really nice feeling. Um, I've scored quite a few last minute goals, but I think that might have been one of the few that was actually to win. I scored a really good one for Wolves against Bolton and one for Millwall against Swindon that were sort of 92 minutes, but they were both equalisers. So it was nice to get one that was, was the winner and, you know, in front of uh, the travelling support and, and to get all three points. Yeah, it was a really, really good feeling.